Hey everybody and welcome back to another delicious episode of Crazy American Cracker along with my gorgeous, gorgeous wife, Renata. We tried to get our son to partake in these episodes, but I don't know. He wasn't having it tonight. Dylan Jason, so, you're missing out. We can make you a movie yeah, star. Yeah. So tonight, we're going to do a twofer. We've got uh, two beverages we're going to try this evening. And the first one is Brownie Caramel Cream Root Beer. And I am a root beer aficionado. I love root beer. I love a good root beer. You know, I, I kind of like a bad root beer. Anyway, I found this over at uh, Cracker, Cracker Barrel the other day. And I was like, oh, I got to try that. Can you believe it's not an Aldi's fine? Yeah. <laughs> One of those. Did you tell them what kind it is? Yes. Oh, caramel cream. Yes, yes. Smell that delicious flavor. Smells like root beer. Mm. Well, yeah. But I, I don't know. I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I kind of expected a root beer. Maybe a hint it's, of caramel or something. Uh, yeah, it's got a. I got a real caramely, uh, vanilla e. Here, you go first. You want to hold it on the palate for a minute? Ooh, it's got a nice kind of after bite, doesn't it? Yeah, you get the caramel wow. out after you. Uh, I mean, it's root beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then... And then, yeah... So I said that a little too fast because uh, it went in real nice and smooth, swished it around a little bit, and then I got like a real root beer bite that you really like, you know? And then the caramel hit after See, that's that. that's what I taste now more is the caramel, yeah, yeah. caramel cream. Holy moly. That's really some good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. Mm -mm. I'm not a big root beer fan, so. Um... Of course, you know, when you go to places like that, they're a little pricey. It's $1.79. Yeah, the $1.79 for a bottle. But you know what? Uh, it was worth it, you know? This is a really great root beer. And there's not one, uh, many of them out there I call a really great root beer. Uh, you know, you got your A&Ws and your Barks and da-da-da-da-da. Don't forget Lost Trail. I'm getting to it. Lost Trail is a really good one. And that was one that we were going to put on, but I drank them all. And then, uh, you know, probably... Back in, the day, back in the day on Lost Trail, when the kids were little bitty, mm -hmm. uh, Dylan was little bitty, you... I think we lived in Kansas City. We did, because it's made in Lewisburg, Kansas, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, you sent in and you got this little Lost Trail badge. And I, I don't think you I had it. a badge. You had a badge. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan had, had a badge. badge. Anyway. We all had Lost Trail badges. Yeah. Yeah, so. you had to drink it and then send off. I think you had to send like a dollar or two, Something. you know. Anyway. They mail you one back. And uh, I was going to say, my probably all-time favorite root beer, and I don't even know if you can get it anymore, it was Route 66 root beer, and it came in a nice, uh, beautiful brown glass bottle. And the only place that we ever bought it was Flying W out there by Kellogg's Lake there in Carthage. They had it there. And, uh, wow, that was just some awesome root beer. So, anyway, uh, flavor number two for this evening is cinnamon Coca-Cola. Now, I like Coca-Cola. It's my favorite uh, Carbonated. soft drink, yeah. And I'll tell you a little something about Coca-Cola. They make a California raspberry Coca-Cola. Holy cow, if you can ever find that in the bottle, that is a delicious Coca-Cola. And I didn't think so for a long time. And uh, we bought a four-pack of it, I think it was. And uh, the first bottle I drank, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. By the time I got the last bottle, I was like, 
I've got to have some more of this. That was delicious. Now, uh, a close second on that, and probably the same. Uh, I know the Wendy's and Yosho has it, but if you can go to a, and probably maybe uh, uh, McDonald's, uh, okay. has the Coke machine where you get your own Coke and has like a thousand flavors in there, they have raspberry Coca-Cola in there. I recommend you try it. It is really good. So let's try this cinnamon Coca-Cola and see what we think about this. First off, I don't drink pop anymore, hardly ever. Mm. And I sure don't like Coke. Oh, that's it. I'm calling my lawyer Monday morning. We're getting a divorce. You, a divorce. <laughs> you can smell the cinnamon. Yeah. I'll let you go first. No, 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 go ahead. No, 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 no. Ladies first, I... I insist. Cinnamon Coca-Cola. It's another one of those that the aftertaste is. Did you get much cinnamon? Yeah, mine. Did you? Mm -hmm. I think you're still on the caramel cream. Oh, I'm going back to that. As soon as we're done here. <laughs> yeah. That is going down. Downtown Julie Brown. Remember her? Yep, on MTV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not getting a whole lot, but there's got to be something there because I'm not getting a real pow Coca-Cola flavor. You know what I mean? But I don't get a whole lot of cinnamon out of that. Either way, so... So you got one recommendation. Go out and get the caramel cream root beer. Yeah. Skip the yes. cinnamon Coca-Cola. Yeah, skip the cinnamon Coca-Cola. Go straight to uh, brownie caramel cream root beer. Uh, even if you're just in the area, stop by Cracker Barrel. They have other flavors. Oh, they got a whole lot of flavors in there. Uh, I chose that one there. And I'm not a big cream soda fan. I'm not a fan of cream soda at all. And... Uh, when it said caramel cream, I thought, oh, I don't know. I know now. This is delish. Mm. All right, kids. That's it for this evening. Yeah, because he probably has to belch to be truthful. Now nah, I'm all right so far. <laughs> so, anyway, that it with you? Yep, signing off. All right, see you next time.